What's up airboat gang? You guys are watching YCF Airboats and this is another YCF Airboat production. I know that everybody does it. At some point in their life or some time in their life, they say, oh, you know, I'll never get this or this will never happen or I'll never have one of those. And then you get to a point later in life where those things you said that you'd never have or never get, you start getting and things start happening that you didn't think would. We have an Al David with a 327 Mike Ford motor. Um, this thing is a nasty, nasty, nasty boat. If you guys know me, if you guys know me and watch the channel, you guys know I'm not an auto boat fan, meaning an automotive engine on an airboat. But this boat, I love this boat. This is a hundred mile an hour boat as it is. But what we're gonna do to it is we're gonna take the motor off because Speedy needs more horsepower. Now, if you guys have watched the channel, you guys know Speedy. He's got the angle valve 540 up stack. Well, he also owns this boat. So what we're gonna be doing guys in this video is we're gonna take off this whole rigging so we can pull that motor, send it back to Mike Ford so he can build it some more. And this boat's already nasty. I've never been as fast on the water as I have been in this boat. This is a hundred mile an hour boat as it sits. So anyways, guys, on these Al Davids, to get the motor off, you have to take obviously the cage off but the cage and the rigging are all one piece so i'm gonna have to work on getting the rudders off the prop off pull the rigging and pull the motor so that's what i'm going to get into right now so stay tuned guys this is this is a bad to the bone boat right here now wait 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 a minute y'all so I know what y'all a lot of y'all are thinking that's only a little 327 on there I guarantee you that this boat will burn up ls's all day long because i know this boat this boat don't play around anyways let's get into it but before we start tearing it apart i'll give you guys a walk around and show you what it looks like and how nice this thing really is and if any y'all know these boats these al davids they are top of the line very very expensive hauls but al david has a science on these boats i don't think there's any other deck over that rides and performs as well as these al david hauls do that's why they're such a hot commodity and they are so valuable and so pricey so anyways not sure how long this thing is i'm assuming 13 6 maybe a little longer might be 14 anyways um but it's all got the camo wrap on it it's all camo wrapped um there is uh this prop is no joke either y'all like this thing is serious but just look at the detail that al david puts in these boats and i always thought al david tigged his stainless but uh no that's MIG. That's MIG welds. But uh, anyways, we're going to get back into doing this. Just giving you guys an overlook of what it looks like now. Probably give both of my testicles to own this thing. So, because I don't need them no more. Y'all look, man. Speedy done went so dug on fast in this thing. He done bent his, his glow whip antenna. Done messed it all up. This boat does not need to have any more horsepower. It does need to not need to go a bit faster. So I don't know why he wants to do this. There's no need for it, but Speedy wants it. Speedy gets it. All right, y'all. So we got the rudders off. Um, working on getting the prop off now. All right, y'all. So we got the rudders off and uh, the stainless bolts 
on the top here because we have this bolt that's in the rudder is steel. Uh, the rust from the steel bolt and uh, the stainless bolt trying to come out of there with all that rust, it ate it up. So Speedy's gonna have to replace them two stainless bolts because it did it on both rudders. But working on getting the prop off now and uh, that's where we're at with it. As soon as we get the prop off, I think I have to take off that uh, thing on the side of the motor. I'll show you all in a little bit. But other than that, she's about to come off. All right, y'all, got the prop off successfully at that. Uh, now, gonna start unbolting this rigging. Now, I've never uh, done anything with a deck over before, so this will be my first time. So, I know I'm gonna have to get the panels off in the center. When you take that off, it'd be a three quarter deck, but, anyways. So I got to take the panels off and get under there and get to some of these bolts. And, but a lot of them are on, well, not a lot of them, but some of them are on the outside. So I'm going to start doing that. And uh, man, it's going to be a pain in the butt getting this whole rigging off because it's one piece. So we'll figure it out. All right, guys. So before we take the rigging and everything off, what I'm doing is I'm get I got my tape out and my Sharpie and I'm, right and everything and i'm labeling every wire that comes off because one i'm the guy putting it back together but two if i wasn't the guy putting it back together and speedy say for example was doing it he would like to know where everything goes as well because it's just a bunch of spider webs if it's unlabeled and you don't know where they come or where they go so anyways we're labeling everything as you can see like I got ground on that one, um, another ground, another label. Uh, all these are starter and uh, all the starter is labeled. As I'm taking one off one at a time, I am just labeling it with a piece of tape, throwing it on there so we know where it goes when we put it back together. So when we get this thing back together and guys, YCF is putting it back together and we're gonna go run it and find out how much of a difference the horsepower Speedy's having Mike Ford put into this motor. And we're gonna go drop this thing off too at Mike's house when we get it pulled off. All right, y'all, that was, whew, that was a job. Thank God I had my promoter stop by to give me a hand lifting that stuff up uh, because we got it off. It was not easy. That thing is, uh, it's heavy because it's awkward because you got a whole cage onto a small rig and you really need three people to do it. But we got it done. We got it off the boat. So now guys, I'm going to pull my hoist around to get it above this motor. The boat had to come off the trailer for one to get the rigging off to get lower to the ground so we could lift it. You know, it was just awkwardly heavy. So we lower to the ground we could be the better. And... I have to have it that low because my engine pullard hoist thing right here is not tall enough if it's on the trailer. So, gonna get the motor pulled off. No. Ah. You gotta turn it. You gotta turn it the right way. You filming? Woo! All right, y'all, motor is off of the motor stand. So now, you guys, I'm going to get the haul back on the trailer and get the motor on its cradles so it can go in the bed of my truck to be taken to Mike. All right, y'all, so Mike Ford has a couple great things that I guess he gives you and lets you borrow when uh, you build. he builds you a motor. So um, as you can see it, it's labeled. Mike Ford, these brackets, there's one on each side. These brackets go to protect his oil pans that he makes. Um, you guys want to shout out Mike Ford for some bad to the bone engines. Now I'm going to tell you guys <clears throat> why I love this, but why it's the only car motor I love is because the sound I, I don't know what it is i guess it wouldn't just be this car motor every motor that mike ford builds has the best sound i've ever heard it's not like an ls or 
an old 350 or not or 302 none of that it ain't i don't know the cam and whatever he does to these things man it it sounds amazing like when a mike ford motor pulls up to the hill you know it's a mike ford motor when you hear it coming you know it's a mike ford motor because they just have this sound and it's just it's amazing guys man these motors run like no tomorrow and this is a punched out uh 327 and it, that's a 100 mile an hour boat as it is so after your speedy does whatever he does to it or has mike do to it this thing it's gonna be real scary and a video you guys are not gonna want to miss so make sure you stick around for part oh and also another thing mike ford uh let speedy borrow yesterday was this cool mount right here which mounts to your intake so you can just boop, pull it off from the intake which is pretty cool but i'm gonna get back to mounting the stuff off now y'all i have to say that's pretty cool them uh motor stand mounts it keeps your oil pan right off the ground and the motor's sitting perfectly upright all right y'all so we got the motor off obviously as you know the boat is back in here back on the trailer everything's nice and cleaned off i've got the motor loaded in the bed of the truck ready to go i'm gonna throw a tarp over it here in just a second rigging sitting there till tomorrow when the second part of this video will start but i will be starting the rest of this video tomorrow it might be a month or so till it gets back to you guys for part two being as the motor has got to go to Mike and be built even more. So, um, however long it takes him to get his motors built, I think he's pretty quick, but we're going to roughly say a month or so, and uh, part two should be back. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you stick around for not only part two, but all the other videos that we do here on this channel. But in part two, you will see us taking the motor to Mike. So anyways, you guys will be seeing me take it to Mike, to his shop, where he's going to be doing all the work to the motor and hopefully get some insight on what he's doing to it. Now, guys, this boat is going to be crazy, stupid fast. It already is. It doesn't need any more horsepower built anymore. This thing already is a 100 miles an hour boat. I guess Speedy has something to prove, and he's planning on hurting some feelings so all you ls guys he's coming for you so anyways remember as always i love you jesus loves you thanks for watching guys it's free smash that like and subscribe button thank you for doing it if you haven't done it please do it it helps support the channel it's free guys it doesn't cost anything anyways i love you and again jesus loves you and until next time guys see ya